the Z Fold 3 is finally here and it's about damn time. <laughs> this phone is literally here to just rattle the cages of exactly what the next era of smartphones can be. And though it's not perfect, it does an incredible job of accomplishing exactly what it sets out to do. Now, the cover display. Samsung wanted to make a phone that's gonna be super slim and very comfortable to hold in one hand and that is also easily portable. And this device sits comfortable in my pockets without bulging too much. And I just wear basic normal type clothes. The pockets aren't too big or small, just normal depth and I have no problems with them. Um, the cover display I mostly just use to just check text messages and whether or start listening to some music. Same thing I would do on a regular size phone, but it handles everything that I do it's completely buttery smooth because it has that 120 hertz. The cover display is also a 6.2 inch size display and I think it's a pretty good size. I do wonder if next year they're going to make it wider and I will be totally cool with that. Um, but the most important thing is just that it remains to be comfortable. I kind of like it being slim like it is also. It doesn't give me a lot of problems. So using a camera app to take pictures or record videos on this phone is also very different. Um, and I will say that the photos and videos captured on a fold turn out vibrant and clear in detail. Also, Samsung gives you like a million daggone filters that so many other companies just don't give you. I mean, you have to pay for the same filters with Apple and other companies and Samsung gives it to the Galaxy users for free. And that is awesome. So yeah, take advantage of that. Um, you can do pretty much everything on a cover display that you can do on the main display, and that offers a lot of benefits to people who just want to access something quickly, like listen to a podcast or just send in a few Snapchats to your friends. And for those that have time to dive deeper um, into playing around on their phone, that is where the main display is going to come in, and it is beautiful. So playing games, like playing certain games on the cover display is fine, like um, Jetpack Joyride, those runners. But if you want to really be like thrown into your game, like fully immersed, then unfolding a Z Fold 3 is just pure magic. The videos are so much better on this device that it puts any other device to shame. I mean, there is just no comparison. So the main display has a 7.6 inch screen and it also runs at 120 hertz refresh rates for smoother animations and ultra fast responses and quick action gaming. Now there is a crease that is in a display where it folds, but I found that it totally disappears whenever you're consuming content and normal indoor lighting and looking at it basically just right on. So basically the place where you are going to be, where most people are going to be using the devices is going to be indoors and it's going to look totally fine. Um, however, if you do angle it right, you can see the crease in the display and I think it's more visible outdoors on a bright sunny day. Like when the light, whenever the light is hitting it directly or like and you're, you're like angling your device. So if this is one of those details that you think will drive you crazy, then I want to go ahead and tell you to take note of this. Um, for others like myself, this isn't a detail that bothers me. It's not a deal breaker for me. And I still appreciate the path that Samsung is on with the Z Fold 3 just to bring consumers who love this sort of boundary breaking, cutting edge technology and just putting that into the hands of users who are looking for something unique and special. Um, it's a lot of fun and I just, it is the only device that really does it for me. So talking about one of the things that's very special about the, this device, Samsung decided to do something new by adding an under display camera to it. And I know you've heard about this by now, but using it for a while, I can sum it up in two words. It matters. Um, while playing games and watching videos, it does seem to disappear and it blends into whatever it is that you're consuming and it's really hard to notice on certain screens. I mean, if you're looking for it, you'll find it. Um, also, if you open your camera, it's going to look like the front facing camera that you're used to seeing on the Z Fold 2 and other uh, phones that have the hole punch cameras on them. Um, the difference here is that once you leave the app, that hole punch camera goes away and reactivates pixels that blend into the normal viewing screen so that it's less distraction. I wanted to mention that um, the three rear cameras that are on the phone actually are a triple 12 megapixel setup that you can use to take some very sharp selfies. Um, and you can even take it a step further by folding device and you gain even more features in the special mode that Samsung calls flex mode. 
and it's basically like having a built-in tripod or the most flexible kickstand ever so you can set the camera down and take photos with it uh, hands-free also in flex mode like when you're watching videos on youtube for example the display will put the video on one half and allow you to scroll and view comments on the other half and that is super cool uh, there's not a, a ton of apps that fully support this just yet, but the catalog of apps that do is growing. Now, the default 3 is now S Pen compatible, so this is super useful for just sketching ideas, charting notes, or even just making a grocery list. Samsung had to redesign the S Pen specifically for the Z Fold series, and it works exceptionally well. There are two kinds, the S Pen Fold Edition and the S Pen Pro. And the tips of the Fold Edition will retract whenever there's too much pressure applied to the screen while using them, which is good news for all you lead-handed artists out there. <laughs> I do want to add that the fingerprint scanner is built into the power button and it works very well. You can also use Face ID to unlock it if you want to. Um, Samsung DeX is on board and ready to go. And this device actually has IPX8 certification. So basically it can handle the splash. It can go up to one meter of water, uh, fresh water and be just fine. Something else I want to remind you is if you use eSIMs in your device, like the phone that I was using before using eSIM, well, whenever I was trying to set up this Galaxy Z Fold 3, I was not able to use the eSIM. I had to go get a physical SIM card. So if you're currently coming from a phone that uses an eSIM, just plan on getting a physical eSIM, at least inside of the United States. I'm gonna give another warning to parents that if your kids discover that you have this Galaxy phone in your possession, they will think that it is theirs. Do not let them enjoy Samsung Kids. It's amazing. Now, is this device going to be for everyone? No, of course not. The high price tag, the sometimes visible crease, and the lower spec first generational under display camera are just gonna be deal breakers for some. But if those takeaways don't matter to you and you want a device that unfolds into a tablet, has a 120 hertz display, and you can draw on it using the S Pen, <laughs> then the Z Fold 3 just might be for you. I know it is for me because I haven't been able to stop playing it since I got it. It's not perfect, but I think that it is worth it and it is a lot of fun to use. To all of my returning subscribers, thank you so much for watching my videos. I really appreciate it. And if this is your first time, welcome to the channel, and I'll see you in the next one.